When she speaks, it's a dangerous fantasy. Sets me free. It's where I want to be. She sets me free. It's where I want to be. Wanna be. She sets me free. Hey guys, my name's Emily and welcome to my beauty channel, Emily Page XO. Today I just wanted to do an inspired tutorial using the Too Faced Star Dust Palette by Vegas Nay. And there are 12 eyeshadows in the palette. I love this palette. I've been using it every day now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you want to see how I got this look, then please just keep watching. Bye guys. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you've been here with me before and welcome to all the newcomers. Hey hey. I've already did my foundation with the matte poreless foundation from Maybelline and I already as well filled in my eyebrows to save time with the NYX wax pencil. This product is bomb and all the products I use will be listed in the below bar so check that out. Next, I'm just going to move on to the eyes and use the I Love Stage Essence Primer and prime my lids so all the eyeshadows stay on and are more pigmented, even though these eyeshadows are a bomb and they're pigmented by themselves. I'm just going to use the trusty old tape just so we can smoke out that eyeshadow. Going into the palette, we're going to first take Millennium, which is a beautiful soft brown, and pop that into the crease with a big fluffy brush. I'm just using Windchill Wiper Swiping Motions and popping that into the crease and a little above the crease as well. And yeah, you can see what I'm doing right here. Now we're going to go even deeper and take Girls Night, which is the cutest name, and that's a deeper chocolate brown, and we're going to pop that into the outer corner of our eye and just deepen that inner crease, giving it more dimension and a little bit of smokiness. Moving on to that beautiful lid shade, we're going to take the strip, which is a beautiful kind of glittery purple and we're going to take a flat brush and pack that on to the center of the lid and kind of gliding it in to the smokiness just so that it looks all blended. Moving on to the inner corner highlight we're going to take this beautiful pinky purple shade called pink pearl and we're going to just pop that into the inner crease. I'm also gliding it onto the lid shade connecting all the shadows together making it look seamless and effortless. Taking Kat Von D's Trooper Liquid Liner, I'm now just lining my lash line and going close to the lashes as possible. I'm as well using that tape as a guide to wing out my eyeliner just for a pretty dramatic and fun party look. Now peeling a tape from myself, I'm going to now just coat my lashes with the Voluminous Black from L'Oreal Paris. Getting ready to put on these lashes. Look at the difference. Mm hmm girl. I'm just going to coat some glue on the band and then pop those babies on. Moving back to the face, I'm going to use a highlighting slash concealer. It's from Urban Decay and I highly recommend this concealer. It's amazing. I'm putting it under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin, which is where all the sun should hit and all the places you want to emphasize in your face. And I'm just going to blend this all in with a damp sponge.
setting all that wet funness I'm going to use the hello flawless powder from benefit and lightly brush that over where I put the concealer just to lock and load that onto my skin and make sure nothing is sliding since I am very oily and now I'm just going to take some tea and take a break I know you're digging the cup Moving on to contouring the face, I'm just going to take a cream contour and sculpt my face where I want it to look sculpted and where I want my face to carve in. So I'm doing my jawline, my nose, and everywhere where you want to make yourself appear a tiny bit skinnier and sculpted. So I'm just going to blend that into my face and make sure there's no harsh lines and really melt it into my foundation and my skin. To brighten up the face, I'm taking this beautiful Tarte blush and just putting it on the apples of my cheeks as well going backwards. And moving on for a little glow girl, this is my favorite highlighter right now. This is from ColourPop and it's in Electric Slide. It's a beautiful golden shade. I'm going to put it on the highest points of my face and just make myself glow. Yes, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, and you can see that shimmer. To spice up the look a little bit more, we're going to take Follow Me, which is a beautiful dark purple shadow, and we're going to smoke the lower lash line out using that purple shade, and it just makes your eyes pop. Smoking anything under the lower lash line really makes the look a little bit more dramatic and makes your eyes go va va voom. Using the NYX pencil in Milk Throwback, I'm going to put that into my bottom waterline. This makes your eyes look more awake, bigger, and really complements that purple. It also really makes the purple pop more. I'm just going to add a coat of mascara to my bottom lashes. And last but not least, this is Matte Magenta from Clinique. It's from their holiday collection and this is such a beautiful color. Thank you guys so much for watching. My video is done here and I hope to see you in my next video. Please subscribe and like the video. It helps me so much and I love you guys so much. I hope you had a blessed and awesome holiday and happy new year. Bye guys. XOXO.